Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef at New Wave Oven. Today we're gonna do a very simple uh, cinnamon and sugar flour tortilla crisp. And all we're gonna do is you're gonna take one pack of the 12 count or a 12 ounce pack of um, tortilla and just cut them down the middle and then make nice long strips. I like them fairly thin so they, they tend to crisp up a lot better. All right. All right, then we're going to just kind of throw them in the bowl like this. All right, what I did is I took a half of a cup of butter and I melted it in the new wave on the four inch rack for one minute. And we're just gonna pour that around. It doesn't seem like a lot of butter, but it is enough to coat. All right, we're gonna take a half a cup of sugar. This is one of those recipes that doesn't have to be an exact science. Sprinkle that. Cinnamon, here's my little trick for cinnamon. It's one teaspoon of cinnamon. And I just bought this at the little kitchen store. I think they have them at the dollar stores too. And I just throw it in there and then just hit it so that it evenly, you don't get those big chunks of cinnamon. Plus I like gadgets. Okay, and then this is the fun part. I like to just use my hands. Your hands are your best tools if they're clean. But if you're not comfortable with that, use some tongs or whatever. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are gonna stack these. I'm gonna put some on a two inch rack and then also put them on a four inch rack. If you don't have a two inch rack, you can turn it over, put it on a one inch. You just have to do it in a couple different stages of cooking where I'm gonna try and get all these done in one seven minute time. I like to put them on the rack because then the convection, let's see, we gotta put it over here so you can see better. Like to put it on the one inch rack, I mean, excuse me, on the rack so that the convection can just evenly get underneath there and crisp them up. Take our four inch rack These are a really great snack after school or after taco night or something. And they're much better than that fast food place that you can get them at. All right, wipe my hands. We're gonna put on our lid. I'm gonna give it cook time. Five minutes, start. When five minutes goes off, I'm gonna just kind of turn them with some tongs and then um, give it an additional two minutes. Then I, kind of, I just put them out on a rack. I just will let them dry like that, maybe about five minutes, and then they're ready to eat. Store them in a plastic baggie and they'll stay good for a week. Okay, I'll see you back in five minutes. Our five minutes are up. We're gonna just lightly Toss them around, see how nice and brown they're getting. Hear the crunch? Oops. We're gonna give it another two minutes. Then we're going to let them sit for a little bit and dry out and then they're ready to eat. Cook, cook time, two minutes, start. We'll be right back. Okay, our two minutes are up. Ooh, look at how crispy those are. Now we're gonna let them just sit on our rack and let them cool down completely. But I just wanna show you the, the crunch of these. Ooh, they're hot. Just give them another little toss. In probably about 10 minutes, they'll be ready to eat. 
So until next time, have a new wave of a day. Bye.